Hi, I'm Claire Amos. I'm the principal here at Albany Senior High School. I think the best place to start with incorporating STEAM into teaching is to actually understand what the concept of STEAM is about. So often when people talk about STEAM, they talk about the fact that it's science, technology, engineering, arts and maths, but the most key thing to remember is that it's actually about the integration of those things. And unless the learning is connected and inquiry-based, I don't believe that it's genuine STEAM learning. The best place to start with STEAM learning is to think about the opportunities that lie in your everyday teaching of subjects. So in a primary context, when students undertake a science inquiry or any kind of inquiry, there's opportunities to integrate aspects of STEAM into it. Whether it be presenting science through art materials or thinking about um, robotics and how it connects to other aspects of mathematics learning. In terms of within a secondary context, the place to start is looking beyond your siloed subjects. Secondary schools, for the most part, are built around individual sort of maths learning, technology learning, arts learning, etc. And the place to start is thinking about the needs of the learners and the learning that can be gained through exploring their subject contexts through other skills and applications. So looking at ways that you might bring art into the maths classroom to really help a student understand some really key mathematical concepts and skills. It's really important that we open up the lines of communications between subjects and we see subject teachers really collaborating with one another because the richness of STEAM happens when we work together and we collaborate and we co-design across the subject areas. I think the best way to approach the digital technologies curriculum is an enabler for deepening learning across any learning areas. So rather than seeing the digital technologies as a specific subject on its own, I think we all need to take a look at the digital technologies curriculum as a subject teacher from any area and think how can we use the skills and the concepts and the context within the curriculum to enrich learning across our learning areas. I think we will see it being the most powerful when we weave it into our entire school curriculum. I think the way that you get buy-in is that you involve people and you co-construct the journey with them. So this isn't something that you do to people. You don't say, we're now a STEAM school and you're all going to do it. You need to start the conversation with the students, with the community, with the teachers, and ask them what opportunities they see lies in introducing STEAM approaches within to a school. Because for it to have a real impact and for you to have buy-in, people need to feel like they have been part of the journey um, from day one. So you start by teaching people about what STEAM is, and you talk about the opportunities and the richness that's presented from having a more integrated approach to teaching and learning. And then you need to give people time and space to be creative and to think about how they could design learning to move beyond those traditional realms of single subject teaching, particularly in the secondary school context. I think the best way that you can actually do STEAM on a budget is handing it over to the students and presenting it as a problem for them to solve. So you need to start with what is it that you're trying to explore. So if you're looking at robotics, if you're looking at how you can use art and mathematics, if you're looking how you can combine engineering across the curriculum, you need to talk with the students, what is it that we're trying to learn? What is it that we're trying to do? Now you go off and you research and you give me ideas about the sort of equipment and the tools that we're gonna to need to make this happen. And you actually give them the control over the budget and you get them to think really creatively. I think one of the strengths we have going for us as New Zealanders is we have this number eight wire mentality. And we have learned to pick up and use what's actually available to us. 
For the most part, you can do steam with some sprawls and some Play-Doh and some cardboard. There's a heck of a lot we can do that is, um, you know, just using the resources that are in any traditional school environment. The great thing about having more steam equipment coming into the market is we can next level it. So start with the cardboard, start with the Play-Doh, start with the Lego blocks and go from there. You don't need to spend a lot of money to build powerful learning opportunities and experiences. I think the way to upskill teachers on a limited budget is to run within school professional development, give them time and space to engage with STEAM experiments and learning experiences. Get them hands on with your building blocks, with your Play-Doh, with your straw, with your robotics. Give them time to play and to explore because often what's the blocker for teachers is a lack of confidence. They think, oh no, you know, robotics is coming into the classroom, I don't understand it. But what they don't realise is that they don't need to understand it. It's more than okay to learn alongside your students and go on the journey with them. We've just got to have a little bit of courage and we've got to think a little bit more creatively. And we've got to open it up and be willing to learn alongside our students. So for teachers, absolutely, there's real power in creating time and space for them to play and to learn themselves but then also to encourage them to understand that it's quite all right for them to go into a situation and not be an absolute expert with the technology. I'm someone that loves technology in the classroom, but I don't see myself as a tech expert. What I do see myself as an expert in is being really open to learning with my students. I think one of the things that you can struggle with is that things are changing so quickly and there's already so many new things on the horizon that you can always feel like you don't know enough and you're not up to date enough in your information. And again, I think the key is to just be open and to be curious and to be someone who engages with wider communities. One thing I think we need to learn as educators, if we're gonna authentically engage with the STEAM curriculum and a more integrated approach to learning, is we need to look beyond the classroom and be willing to actually be part of those innovation and business spaces ourselves. Personally, my best learning has come from when I've worked alongside innovators, I've worked alongside business people, and I've taken a step into their world. And I think if educators are going to do this justice, they need to stop thinking of themselves of just existing in the classroom. We need to get out there, we need to mix, and we need to mingle, and we need to see ourselves as part of science events, innovation events, and business events. There's so much going on. There's so much sort of future thinking going on at the moment. There's so many opportunities to go along to free talks and events. We just need to get amongst it. There's absolute benefits to introducing a STEAM or integrated approach to learning. The first most palpable improvement that I've seen is the depth of student learning. So as soon as a student takes one area of learning and applies it to another, there's a contextual understanding that takes place that deepens their learning. So for instance, if they're exploring math skills and concepts through art, they suddenly apply those skills and they understand how it applies beyond their classroom. The other way that it really improves student outcomes is the absolute level of engagement. It's innately more creative, it's innately more engaging, and so these young people suddenly find that learning can be fun. And it takes them back to that curiosity and that joy that they had about learning in primary school and in their early childhood centres, because there's a real element of play in integrated STEAM learning. And I think when a student is engaged, a student is learning. The feedback that I've got from students so far is that they love it. And they can all of a sudden see why they are learning a particular skill and concept. One of the biggest complaints for students is wondering why the heck they're learning something in mathematics or science. They don't see necessarily how it can be applied beyond the classroom. So when you do introduce an integrated approach to teaching and learning, you suddenly open up that world for them. They can suddenly see the relevance of what it is they're learning and how they might use it in real life. I see STEAM and digital technologies as becoming the heart of what we learn and the heart of how we learn. 
We need to stop thinking about our curriculum as a series of siloed individual subjects. We need to start thinking about it as an integrated whole. And we need to remember that our job is not to teach a subject, it is to teach a child. If you haven't started looking into this yet, the first step is look around. There are examples of schools doing this across the country. So the first thing I would suggest people do is reach out, get onto Twitter, get onto Facebook, have a look at what's out there and where there's examples of this stuff taking place and upskill yourself and start to understand that it's really not that scary. The next thing I would do is to just start playing in the classroom. Find an excuse, find a reason to start exploring and learning with your students.